The docuseries aims to find answers amid tabloid accusations, public speculation and conspiracy theories. And for more, we are joined by Nine Honey's royal reporter, Natalie Olivieri. Nat, what was the focus of the first episode? Good morning. Well, look, as you said, it's the first of uh, four episodes and it went to air in the UK just a short time ago. The focus really was about the crash itself, the lead up to the crash, the aftermath of the crash. And also, it really did focus, uh, it's looking at the two police investigations after this 1997 accident in Paris. So the UK investigation which happened uh, in 2004 and also the first investigation which was led by the French police immediately after the accident. Now look one of the things that we're hearing from uh, lots of detectives and also photographers, many people who have never spoken publicly before so therefore it is a little interesting. However many people are saying it's not actually shedding any new light on the crash itself. Itself. We did hear from one photographer just then who said that it was not the paparazzi who caused the crash, rather it was negligent driving. And so far, that's what this episode has concluded. However, many people struggle to accept that because of all these conspiracy theories that we have been hearing over the years. It's something that we seem to have picked over so much. Now, a former commissioner who investigated Diana's death has said that Martin Bashir, quote, should have been interviewed uh, under caution over Princess Diana's death. Why? Absolutely. Now, this is one of the people included in this documentary, uh, Lord Stevens. Now, he was the former head of the Metropolitan Police. He says that officers would definitely have spoken to Martin Bashir had police known about the lies he told to Diana to win her trust. Now, these lies, as we, we know now, really did fuel Diana's paranoia and all these wild conspiracy theories. Prince William last year said as much, saying that uh, this interview that she did with this now disgraced journalist really did contribute to the fear, paranoia and isolation in the final years of her life. Now, Lord Stevens says the interview with Martin Bashir would have been done under caution, really questioning why he didn't come forward at the time in 2004 while this investigation was happening and he calls that decision inexcusable. He's also uh, saying that Martin Bashir would have known how culpable he was in terms of Diana's state of mind. Gosh, that's sad. Mm. It, it is, is really sad and also opening new wounds. It's very sad mm. for Prince William mm. and Prince Harry and we really have to think about them at the moment, having to relive all of this about their mother 25 years after they she They have to passed. relive that trauma all, mm. the, all time. the time. It's full on. All right, thank, thank you. you thank you. Eddie, good morning to you. Um, anything new? Well, everyone here in the UK, uh, no doubt, watching to see what comes out of this documentary, which has just started going to wear here in London. It coincides with 25 years since Diana died in that car accident in Paris with Dodi Al-Fayed and Henri Paul, the driver. Now, the documentary has just begun. We'll be going through the specifics of the night and the lead-up to that crash and the two investigations which were launched uh, as a result, first of which being by the French police, the second of which by the UK Metropolitan Police later in 2004. And the two men who led those investigations, for the UK, it was um, Lord Stevens, and for the French investigation, Martine Montiel. They're breaking their silence and revealing never before heard details. Here's a snippet from what we've heard so far. Now, in this program, we'll also be hearing from members of the paparazzi who were there that night and witnesses of the crash. We're also told we're going to be learning about key details which were kept from Harry and William for up to 10 years after their mother's death. So uh, lots of people here in the UK watching to see what comes out of this. The anniversary, of course, being on the 31st of August. Interesting stuff. All right, we'll come back to you soon. Thank you. Thanks. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>